Hey everybody, Monty, Geometry. So this week, week 10, November, what is it, uh, 16th to the 21st, everything is about circles. Introduction to circles in the vocab, exploring the inscribed angle. So when the vertex was on the outside, so picture this circle, when it's on the outside, okay, that angle, that's inscribed. Now we're going to go into central and inscribed. Okay, here we go. Step by step. Here we go. So first thing is use the interactive diagram to determine the measure of R, L, X. Boom. R, L, X. Let's click on it. Boom. Okay. The measure of R, L, X can be determined because it's half, half of the arc. So the arc is 58.7. It'll be half. Okay. So the measure... The measure of R, L, X, what if I did 58.7 divided by 2 in degrees or radians, the measure of R, L, X, 23.5 degrees. How did you know? The measure, oh, half, oh. interior angle, exterior, base angles, isosceles, right, supplemental, hmm, hmm, how did you know? It's an inscribed angle. Inscribed angle, central angle. No, we want inscribed. There we go. Inscribed angle. So, searching for the word. There's something this video will help you with, okay? So that you can search for the word, okay? All right, let's get started. Okay, so the central angle is 130.8 dH. So they're equal, right? Okay, so we're going to highlight, and we want to know the measure of the arc. The measure of the arc is the same, 130.8 degrees. Degrees. And the reason is central angle. Cool. All right. Let's try another one. Okay. Interactive diagram RJ. R, J, okay, if the inside is 27.5, we're going to double that, double that, inscribed, remember the one half rule, so we're going to double it, so what happens if I go 27.5 times 2? Awesome, didn't even have to do the math, and it's all is in degrees. And the reason is, is because the inscribed angle rule, double or one half. So inscribed, inscribed angle rule. And this Friday, we're just going to spend the entire day on Mathia so that we've all interacted with this vocabulary, okay? All right, so now we have an inscribed angle. 
we want GX. So GX has to be double, inscribed to the arc, so double. So let's just go 79.65 times 2, because we double it. We want it to be in degrees, and the reason is because inscribed to out. Inscribed. All right. Now it looks like they want GIX. GIX is the central angle. Well, we know a central angle when it's the center to the outside. They're equal, right? Equal sign. So 159.3. Check it. Degrees. And this one is the central angle, which means they're equal. Maybe one more? We'll find out if we don't miss it. Hmm. Okay, WG, W to G is 78.1. WC. WC is 167.6. So how much is GC? Oh, well, take the total. Take that blue piece. Minus that blue piece. And we'll get this blue piece. Cool. Let's just write it in. GC. 167.6 minus 78.1. Degrees. And the reason. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to try inscribed. Okay, we better phone a friend here. How can you determine? Okay, well, we subtracted arc addition postulate. Two arcs added together. Wow. Arc addition, arc addition postulate. All right. Well, there's a new term that we haven't talked about in class. Okay. Probably have to do another problem because of that. All right, 71.9. And if it's 71.9, this is going to be double. So 71.9 times 2. Nope. There we go. And those are in degrees. And this is called an inscribed angle. Hey, a flying heart. Okay. And now we need the central angle, which is the same. 143.8. Central angle. Okay. So we have the 118.9, 147. So D 
D B G D B G. Oh, okay. D B G. The whole thing would be angle addition, arc addition, arc addition. So let's do that. Let's drag this over and just write them in. 118.9 plus 147.1 degrees, and this is arc addition. All right. Oh, one more. Okay, so 113, that's that one. 150 is this one. And we need GML. GML, so it's everything. Okay? So again, we're going to add them together. Arc addition. Okay? Move this out of the way. 152.2 plus 113.9 degrees. Our condition. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, X G. X G. Our condition again, okay? So 544, 4, 68.2 degrees. Oh, 628. Dyslexic. Kidding. Did I get wrong? Ah, here we go. Cool. So, nice. Okay, we'll head on. Perfect timing. Okay, so let's move to the next concept. Reasoning with shapes. Reasoning with shapes? Hmm, what's that? Quadrilaterals, that's where we are. All right. Hopefully.